Algiers TV, we live here at the first annual Null C press conference for the Division II championship games. We got players from Joe Brown in the house, players from the cutoff in the house. All the championship teams gonna be in the building with us today. We're gonna ask some questions. We got the Algiers TV crew and we rolling, we working. Let's get it popping. Algiers TV, one love. What's your name, man? Braden. Braden what? Braden Rose. What position you play? Running back. For the Joe Brown Spartans? Yes. How did your coach prepare you for this game that you got coming up? In practice, we do what we need to do. Practice, yes. And what's your name, buddy? Rakeem. Rakeem who? Scott. What team you play for? Cut off water. And what's your position? Quarterback. Same question. How y'all preparing for this championship game y'all have coming up? Practicing hard. And, and uh, doing what you're supposed to do at practice. Okay, let's talk. Odell Beckham because he's a good, he's a um, good wide receiver. He he's he works hard. He play hard. And what about you, King? Who's your favorite football player and why? Cam Newton, and why he's my favorite player because I like I like how he work hard and play. One more. I'm Edward Sutherland. I play running back. For who? For Willie Hall. How y'all guys feel about being in the championship game? I, I feel good because this is the first time we made it to the championship. I feel good because it's my first time making it to the championship. And if you guys win the championship, how you guys going to celebrate? We're going to go, go celebrate at the skating rink. Uh, I will, we will, he said, we will have fun in the locker rooms and mess up the locker rooms. So what's your coach telling you how to prepare for this game? What y'all coach is telling y'all at practice? Work hard, cover our sides, and we practice Monday through Friday. Stop playing, don't get in trouble in school, and don't get, be good in school and be good on the park. Let's talk about school. What kind of grades you guys make in the school and what school you guys go to? A's and B's, and I go to Kip Central City Academy. I mean C's and B's, and I go to my, I mean I go to La Costa Elementary. Being so young, how do how do your coaches even help you prepare for a game like this? Telling us to work hard and give our best. Stop! Stop playing! Don't get in trouble in school. <coughs> And just do your best, and just do your best in school, and do your best on the park, and give your give your hope, give all your heart to the, to everything. Who's your favorite football player, and why? Marshawn Lynch because he helped me become a better running back, and he worked hard. Mark Ingram because he's a power runner. Good answers, fellas. Thank you. all Question, guys: If you win the championship game, what y'all gonna do if you win the championship game? Celebrate. How you gonna celebrate? Going out to eat, doing a lot of fun things with the team. What about you, Rakeem? Going out to eat and going to have fun. So you think the cutout ready for a championship down there? Yeah. You think Joe Brown ready for a championship down there? Yeah. yeah. All right, fellas, thank y'all. In the in in Division One, which Ponchatrain. Division One do you want to play? Pontchartrain. Pontchartrain. Why Pontchartrain? Because they're supposed to be the best team. D1 for 13, 14 every year. So next year, we're going to beat them in the championship next year. Got a question for me. All the pressure coming from Uptown on you guys to win. Is there any pressure on you personally to bring a championship to Uptown? No. No, because, like, I work hard and I know we're going to win. Got one more question for you. Talk about your coach. And what is he doing to get in your head? He like, he always telling us when we right or wrong, and it help us. Mr. Celestine. Yes. We just want to know, what are y'all going to do to the, them, them lions? We're going to demolish them, and we're going to go home with the championship. 
Miles, that's tough talk. That's tough talk. How do you respond to that? We gonna win. I mean, this man said he said he, he said he's gonna demolish you. So what kind of men, what what? How do you go into a championship knowing that your opponent says they're gonna demolish you in the championship? We gonna we gonna work hard, and they gonna let the lines out. <laughs> um, let's go to these big boys right quick. Cause you know we we get a lot of feedback with LJ's TV and. I just want to know how does it feel that you know we have this ranking and knowing that y'all are top seeded in Division Two, that y'all not on the ranking for the D1. How does that make y'all feel? It, it makes them work hard and be more physical. So when we do play D1, they don't, they don't look at it as if we're not good enough or we're not physical enough. So when we do play them, we're uh, that's two is the top. And um, yeah, you said? That's two is the top. I do. I do. You feel that you know y'all not in the the power rankings with this top five? But I know y'all see it and y'all hear a lot about it and you know just knowing that y'all are top in y'all division but not ranked. You know how does that really you know make you feel? It make me so. It make me so mad because it just seems like we just playing football for money, and that also it seems like we have to work even harder to become in our own. In the top ranking, in the top rankings, in order um, to be knowing successful. that um, that this might be y'all last year. Would y'all like to play somebody in Division One? Yes. 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 For yes. your Yes. I think y'all need to let these people know on this camera, you know, what y'all really want to do because you know, Pontiac train and everybody, you know, they they high on high horses. We beat punch train every day play. For when I play when we play first when we play recurry curly, get ready, and eat so. And my first day Joe Brown, we beat punch train. I beat punch train before too. Before I came to um Kaminsky, I was playing with really hard. Oh we demolished them. So when y'all see Pontiac train number one, that just just feel y'all fire up, huh? Yeah, because yeah. they garbage because we beat the masses to go to the uh times. Just because they good don't mean nothing. Let's let's take it over here. What a championship gonna mean to the to uptime? What a championship gonna mean to bring it uptime? It gonna mean a whole lot because this is my first time making it and I feel good about it. What about you? What a, what a championship gonna mean in the Willie Hall area? It's gonna mean good because they're not gonna think about the losers, they're gonna think about the winners. I got a question for Lions. Y'all played a lot of a lot of y'all games, I think, on the West Bank. Am I correct? Across the river? How does it feel that knowing that y'all are uptown team, but y'all, you know, beat everybody on the West Bank? You know, what kind of, you know, how does that make you feel? It makes me feel good because, like, we always go into people's house and we beat them. So what do y'all want to tell y'all fans to get them amped up for this game, that championship game that's coming up? Rakeem, what you tell your fans in the cutoff to get them out to this game? You watching me? <laughs> what about you, Joe Brown? What you tell the fans of Joe Brown to get them out to this game? I tell them. You know? So Comiskey, Joe Brown, the first time you guys met Contra Train Park, it was a very heated matchup, okay? There was some high tensions from that matchup. Do you, do you hold any, any animosity towards the other team, Joe Brown? Do you hold any animosity against some of the things that happened on field uh, during that game? Comiskey, do you hold any, any hard feelings towards Joe Brown? Obviously, you two are meeting in the championship, two very, uh, two very tough teams, Comiskey. Representing the West, Joe Brown representing the East. So uh, let's talk a little bit about that first matchup. Well, me, uh, me and Terry had some conflict in the game. He got kicked out, and but I don't, I don't, I don't hold that grudge because if you hold grudge, you can't. If you, and you play him again, you can't really think while on the field. So all you're going to be thinking about is getting back at that player, getting back at that player, and you're not going to be able to play, play for your team. So you're going. You gonna make you gonna make mistakes, miss blocks, miss tackles, miss the ball possibly, and then you are gonna be thinking to yourself that I wasn't I wasn't playing for my team, I was playing for myself. I agree. 
And also that that same little incident that happened last time won't happen again. And that I'm gonna bring everything I have. I'm gonna bring everything that I have onto the field and make sure that I can get through the line so they won't gain any yards. Now, now, you know, this young man, you know, what answer do you have for him? Uh, yeah, obviously got a lot of power, obviously got a lot of strength. You know, what is Joe Brown's answer to stop kind of, you know, the, the, the Comiskey uh, the Comiskey run game? Everyone knows they got great quarterbacks. Uh, they got running backs. Leon Elwy, his dad's here. They've got great running backs. They've got a lot of speed. What's it? What's your answer to that? Good team now. I'm sorry. Play physical. When you hit, when you hit, when you get to him, don't stop. Hit, wrap up, and keep on going. When you, once you hit him, they ain't going to want the ball no more. See, ain't that what I could say, but the thing is, though, once we get hit, they took me because get strong and not free to get tackled or anything else. So, so kind of the same question. Obviously, Joe Brown, very much known for the passing game. What solution do you have for that? Well, I know that they pass and they have the same motions. And I know that um, our DNs are going to be following the motions, whoever, the um, wing guy. And that we gonna and we gonna have and we have two good a corner we have two good defensive back that gonna contain number seven I forgot me sorry. Now you Try. participated in some clinics at the beginning of the season. How do you think that uh, helped you? Out? Obviously, you know, participating in the clinic at Holy Cross, um, you as well. So how do you think that helped to prepare you uh, to get a little bit better for the season? Well, that I was still taking the game serious. I was still getting like a little bit trouble and, and a little bit more trouble. But like when I went to the Holy Cross clinic, it made me like it made me think like if I play hard and do better in school and work towards where I want to go, I could go to that school or even a better school. So me, oh. instead of trying to trying to be myself, like play play with my team and show that I got it. Can you ask the question again, for God? So you know you as well participated in some clinics before the season, trying to you know kind of get prepared, and get yourself ready. How do you think those clinics helped you uh, as you prepared for the, you know as you as you geared up in preseason? How it helped me was they they explained to me how what they do at first day they, they they condition in the summertime they condition in the summertime and we also condition in the summertime and I went to this camp called Duke Academy where we worked on our footwork and he worked us. We worked on our full work, but he told us this is gonna help us, and it helped me throughout the season. I made a couple people fall this season, using using what, what he told what he told us to use. Tyree, what kind of conditioning and preseason work did you do uh, to get ready for the upcoming to get ready for the upcoming season? Well, me and my friend Nate and Rob, we had a lot of competition to see who could get the most tackles, and this is the final game of the season. Now we're trying to see who who's on top and who's the better on person for Kaminsky. Who's ahead right now? Yeah. Um, so him because he just keep double teaming me every single game. Um, what's what's the motivation that your coaches um, you know tell y'all leading up into this big Division Two championship? Game? He telling us that this is a big game and this the final season, final game we're seeing that everything that we did to um, other teams don't mean nothing now, and that we're on um, if we could get a big double date. We'll be able to play for the travel team too, and we could also be in Division One. The coach tells us that we won zero games. We scored zero touchdowns, and, and, and zero people scored on us. It's the first game of the season that we're gonna play. We got, we got play. We got work hard and play hard. You tell us, all play with passion. Don't, don't think. Of, if you make a mistake, don't think about the last play. Always play the next play, and just have fun and play harder. So what's the score gonna be? The score. It's, it's going to be a tight game, like 15-6 or 21-14, something like that. Who's going to win? we going to win. Empire. Comiskey Eagles going to win. And what's the score going to be? It's like 21-7. 21-7. Um, going back to something that was asked earlier. In the beginning of the year, it was a little, you know, alt you know altercation. Leading up into this week right here, what was the coach... Um, telling y'all to walls, you know, being a um, having sportsmanship on the field. Don't don't let the other team get into your head. Do not talk dirty to the other team, or do not try to do nothing illegal to the other team. So you so you won't lead up to a fight. Just try just play how you play. Stay on your side. Don't say like the ref say. 
you you talk to your team, don't talk to the other don't talk to the other team. Stay on your side. Yeah, like I could say that don't let um don't let them get into your head and also if they come in your face, don't do nothing, just walk away and let the ref handle that. We got the last